intellect. Well, I'm going to bring every bit of love I got. I'm going to bring my gift of prophecy. I'm going to bring my gift of healing. God, I'm going to bring whatever else you want me to bring to this place you have sent me. And if we all came with that mentality, how many people could we spiritually feed? <coughs> See, God is everywhere, but he's given us the task of witnessing to his presence everywhere. See, in our church, listeners, we have an individual who works for a spicing company that's global. In our church, we have an individual who works for a flexible benefits company. In our church, we have a teacher. In our church, we have a dietitian. In our church, we have a physical therapist. In our church, we have a construction worker. In our church, we have an architect. In our church, we have a consultant. Now my question to the church listeners is, do the people at our respective places of employment know that we are Christian? See, everybody at Barnes & Noble where I work knows that I'm a minister. And they come and ask me to counsel them, and they ask me to pray for them, they ask me to lift up people. <laughs> Not only because they see me reading my word, but because as I'm working, they see God working in me. Because I recognize I work to the Lord. Do we see our daily endeavors as worthy of including the Lord in? Working for a spicing company signifying that we are called to be the salt of the earth. <laughs> Working for a flexible benefits company, signifying that God is our life, and He alone. Working for a construction company, signifying that ours is the task of building up the temple of God. Working as a teacher in the APS is a reminder that we are called to raise up our children in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Working. And physical therapy is a reminder that the Word of God, the Word of God, is health to our navel and marrow to our bones. Mm -hmm. Working as a dietitian, realizing that the flesh profiteth nothing, but it's the spirit that quickeneth <coughs> and giveth life. <coughs> church, what should always impel us, because God is in us, is the desire to discern God, to judge all things. <coughs> and we can only do that if we are equally as intent upon including God in every aspect of our lives, from our down sitting to our uprising. David cried out, Lord, I recognize you're Lord of everything and you're everywhere. Inhabit me. Well, he's inhabited us. It's another reminder we can't do it on our own. We have to. Focus on Him. The only way the world will know that God is everywhere is if we witness to that fact. And He has positioned us very strategically everywhere so that we can sing forth His praises everywhere.
strengthen us, oh God, to invite you in fully, that you might lead us fully. We recognize how completely we need you. We recognize that in and of ourselves we cannot help us, Lord. We are yours. Show us the way. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. amen.